Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I am Ember, the Blaze. And I'm Glacier, the Iceborne. And we are Reaction Dragons, coming to you from the Dragon's Lair. And a quick reminder guys, if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. Doesn't cost a dime and helps us go full time. Why are you making it complicated? It's easy. Thanks so much for the support guys and what's on the menu for today Glacier? Back at you with another random Love, Death, and Robots episode. It's episode six, when the yogurt took over. When the yogurt took over and I got nothing. I don't even know what the fuck that means. Is that like a... Is it a metaphor? Are they talking literal yogurt takes over? What's it taking over? I don't know. But yeah, maybe like got too much yogurt or yogurt. I don't fucking know, but it's like, it's a quick one. It's like six or seven minutes. And yeah, I mean, again, we can go right the fuck in this because there's nothing really to recap. So I'm ready to get in this place. You ready? I'm ready. All right, guys. And like usual, just take a couple seconds, hit the like button down below. The impressions do lead to more views, which help us out as a channel. And yeah, that being said, let's fucking go. Hey, it's the world. The yogurt took yeah. over. They all made the same jokes. I was gonna like take over the world. Damn. Our society. <laughs> Our government is now the cream of the crop. <laughs> All the puns Damn. intended. How did we ever get to the point where we were in fact ruled by a dairy product? <laughs> Damn. How does that even happen? As a matter of record, we knew how it happened. Okay, good. Okay. Researchers took one of their most computationally advanced strains of DNA and grafted it onto Lactobacillus del Brucki, commonly used to ferment yogurt. No shit. Damn. Shit. The night of oh, no. June 27th, it became sentient. Oh shit. Oh, damn. It's like worse than Skynet. It's up with this girl's afro though. Yeah. We've solved fusion. <laughs> That's how you communicate. Take us to your leaders. Wow. The yogurt declared it had arrived at solutions to many of the country's problems. Oh, shit. That's crazy as fuck. We. One. What the? What the fuck? Ohio. Ohio? <laughs> it's random. Ohio. With a cheerio on top. He's like, uh. <laughs> we will just go to China. They promised us a whole province. <laughs> Everybody shuts up. Oh. The yogurt was crafty. Yeah, <laughs> Welcome to Ohio, the yogurt state. Century long lease on Ohio, with the promise that it century long lease. Wow. Human and constitutional rights of those who live within its borders. Dan's like diplomatic yogurts. <laughs> diplomatic yogurts. <laughs> Handed over a complex formula to eradicate the national debt. What? It's fucking crazy. Follow it exactly. Any deviation will bring complete economic ruin. Damn, any deviation. Politicians didn't follow. Of course, of course. fucking idiots. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Only Except for Ohio. Oh, yeah, because yogurt knows how to do there. Wow! Wow! Idiots. If this really happened, what would you do? <laughs> wow. Yogurt knows all the answers. Your experts are too close to the problem to solve it. Any human is. God. Damn, signed off on it. Damn. Damn, he's like stressed out. The yogurt. Damn, yogurt's the president now. Gave the yogurt supreme executive power. Wow. The yogurt probably knew. Some people weren't pleased at first. Just a white flag. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oh shit! No. Riots still cause riots and collapse. Ten years later, humanity is happy, healthy, and wealthy. wealthy. Oh, this is probably like how it is all over the world then. That's how it happened, but we still ask ourselves. Yeah, I love my, I love my yogurt, yogurt life. Wasn't it also smart enough to realize that human intellectual vanity would keep us from following the formula exactly? Yeah, yeah. there's always somebody that's gonna fuck it up. In the past several weeks, the yogurt has initiated oh, several space launches going to the stars. Damn. It just Damn. may not be human life. Damn, fuck humans, we're gonna do our own thing. Oh shit. What happens if it goes and leaves us behind? I mean, he said you have to be wealthy, right? God. <laughs> and that's that. That's that. <laughs> wow. Wowzers. Wow. Okay. When the yogurt took over, they sure what you think. Hey, man, if the yogurt didn't do a bad job. People were, they said, healthy, wealthy. And I mean, they pretty much lived in harmony. They had no debt. As oh, long as you don't deviate from the plan. plan. But I mean, it, it was definitely clever because it's like the most random shit you can think of. But the way they executed it, how like the scientists like engineered the bacteria that ferments yogurt and yep. then, you know, created this crazy strand of DNA, which made it sentient. 
Like yeah. that's all like that could you can have that with anything. Like you yeah. just make some perfect strand DNA and just fuse it with any any item. Chocolate Bananas. Or Cheerios or yeah. SpaghettiOs. If it was Cheerios, it would be hard to communicate because like instead of saying take me to your leader, it would just say Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely crazy like some sci-fi angles. The animation was, was kind of off putting because it reminded me of like if minions were humans, like the way they're going, especially that one protester with their minion titties out. Yeah, I, was like, funny. Uh, yeah. I like that. I think this one's the first one that actually had a narrator too. Yeah, it had a narrator. No, Nobody in the in the episode actually had speaking parts. Except well, for the yogurt and the president. I mean, the president laughed. laughed. Yeah, they like laughter and shit like that, but I mean, it kind of is like it's definitely probably satire on the on humanity in general. Like even though you like even if someone just gave you the perfect form of how to live a perfect life, there's always gonna be one person that fucks it up. Yep. So whether it be someone in politics, one of the leaders, or they want they want to just do their own thing, free will, like want to do my own shit. Exactly. But then at the end of the day, yogurt, I guess yogurt's realizing, you know, fuck you guys, we're just gonna like create our little yogurt space shows and just leave Earth and go find out. No, we're not. We're not um, assholes. We gave you guys formula where you can be healthy, wealthy, and live a clean life. Yeah. We're gonna go on our way. And we'll see if you wanna fuck it up or not. Explore space. What if they went deeper? What if like the the yogurt was able to do like time travel and they like helped build the pyramids or some shit? Probably, and they probably went in and found uh, Greta. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, that's how it all happens. They, any, anytime this show up ends and them going to space, they end up in the fucking yeah, at this Archangel point, I just assume that they just go to Greta at this point. <laughs> all roads lead to Greta. It was a crazy concept, quick and to the point. A final thoughts, Glacier? The final thoughts, it was entertaining in its own right. Um, can't wait for the next one because uh, that's what I love about this uh, whole series. It's random, dragon certified. Yeah, I mean, the creativity is on point because I never would have thought of this as a premise. But I mean, it, it, the fact that we're like having this like philosophical conversation about, about yogurt. Yeah, about yogurt just shows that it was mission accomplished. But yeah, dragon certified, fucking hit it. There you have it, guys. Another one in the books. The real question is, what did you guys think in our Drag Sweat Land? Um, where does this rank as far as your favorite episodes on Love, Death, and Robots? Like, what would you like to see if there was like a continuation or sequel of this concept? What inanimate object would you love to get sentient like to that you think would uh, make the world a better place? Leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, join the Dragon Squad. And remember, it doesn't matter if you're up to Fire Squad or the Ice Squad. At the end of the day, when you're a dragon, you're a dragon. That's the end of the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We are Reaction Dragons. I am Ember, the Blaze, and I'm Glacier, the Iceborn. And until next time, we'll see you next time. time.